Hello all! Interstitial ads are full-screen ads that cover the interface of their host app. They're typically displayed at natural transition points in the flow of an app, such as during the pause between levels in a game. When an app shows an interstitial ad, the user has the choice to either tap on the ad and continue to its destination or close it and return to the app. This tutorial explains how to integrate interstitial ads into a Unity app. Before starting there are few initial steps required towards displaying AdMob ads and earning revenue. These steps are common to implementing any ad format. I have made a separate tutorial on that as part of this series to implement AdMob ads. You might want to check that out. The link to the tutorial is provided in the description. The first step toward displaying an interstitial is to create an interstitial ad object in a script attached to a game object like so. The constructor for interstitial ad has the following parameter. Add unit ID add unit ID is the ad mob add unit ID from which the interstitial ad should load ads. It's important to note how different ad units are used, depending on the platform. You'll need to use an iOS ad unit for making ad requests on iOS and an Android ad unit for making requests on Android. The sample code here contains an ad unit ID and you're free to request ads with it. It's been specially configured to return test ads rather than production ads for every request, which makes it safe to use. However, once you register an app in the AdMob UI and create your own ad unit IDs for use in your app, you'll need to explicitly configure your device as a test device when you're developing. This is extremely important. Testing with real ads, even if you never tap on them, is against AdMob policy and can cause your account to be suspended. Once the interstitial ad is instantiated, the next step is to load an ad. That's done with the load ad method in the interstitial ad class. It takes an ad request argument, which holds runtime information, such as targeting info, about a single ad request. Here's an example that shows how to load an ad. Interstitial ads should be displayed during natural pauses in the flow of an app. Between levels of a game is a good example, or after the user completes a task. To show an interstitial, use the isLoaded method to verify that it's done loading, then call show. The interstitial ad from the previous code example could be shown at the end of a game, as demonstrated here. To further customize the behavior of your ad, you can hook into a number of events in the ad's lifecycle, loading, opening, closing, and so on. Listen for these events by registering a delegate for the appropriate event handler, as shown here. The onAdFailToLoad event contains special event arguments. It passes an instance of handleAdFailToLoad event args with a message describing the error like so. On ad loaded, the on ad loaded event is executed when an ad has finished loading. On ad failed to load, the on ad failed to load event is invoked when an ad fails to load. The message parameter describes the type of failure that occurred. On ad opening, on ad opening method is invoked when the ad is displayed, covering the device's screen. On ad closed, on ad closed method is invoked when the interstitial ad is closed due to the user tapping on the close icon or using the back button. If your app paused its audio output or game loop, this is a great place to resume it. When you are finished with the interstitial ad, make sure to call the destroy method before dropping your reference to it. This notifies the plugin that the object is no longer used and the memory it occupies can be reclaimed. Failure to call this method results in memory leaks. I hope this helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell button to show your support. I post new videos frequently, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.